if you notice this one almost looks like an inverting amplifier except for that capacitor C1 so what we can do to make it look like an inverting is we can uh, replace that capacitor with its impedance and then we can combine it in parallel with RF and then that way we will have uh, two impedances R1 and the one for the feedback so uh, the impedance for capacitor C1 as you should already know from another class is S is 1 over S C1 where S is equal to J W and also W is the uh, frequency in radians so that'll be 2 pi f if you have the frequency in hertz and uh, this is used to analyze the gain at different frequencies so now let's uh, like I said let's go ahead and replace this feedback loop impedance and let's call that z one and so we can say that uh, Z1 is equal to Z of the capacitor in parallel with RF and so from this we will get a uh, 1 over Z C1 plus 1 over RF to the negative power, that's the formula for your parallel resistances so this is going to get us and now let's uh, plug in this value into this equation and I'm uh, running out of room here so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink these formulas that we've derived So let's continue. And we can reduce this even further. To that equation. So let's see what else we can do. So this this will be our uh, final result for Z1. I'm also going to uh, shrink this circuit. We can re redraw it as. And so now it looks exactly like our inverting amplifier. So let's go ahead and apply the rules we know. So that's V inverting, V non inverting, and we also have an I in equal to zero. So that's I in. And we can draw the other currents, I1 
and I2. And for my uh, previous videos for the inverting amplifier, we know that uh, I1 is equal to I2 because I in is equal to zero. And so I1 is VI over R1. I2 is negative VO over Z1. So solving for uh, V out over V in, we have the V out over V i is equal to negative Z1 over R1. So that's equal to 1 over R1 times, and uh, I forgot the negative, so let me put a negative here, R f over 1 plus our F S Z1 C1 and we can reduce that to or just uh, fix it to be negative R F over R1 times 1 over 1 plus S RF C1 and so this would be the gain of your uh, low pass up pump filter so if you get a value for C1 just plug it into here RF and R1 and uh, if you have a frequency if they give you Hertz then you would use this formula so if they give you a hertz, just plug in your plug in for f. If they give you radians per second, just plug it into your w.